Welcome back. In this video, we'll summarize our observations on determining the number of solutions of a linear system. The row echelon form or reduced row echelon form of the augmented matrix A aug of a linear system with coefficient matrix A has one of three forms. So let me zoom out so you can see how this page is organized. So notice that I have three example matrices, one, two, and three. As we know, a linear system can have either no solutions, a unique solution, or infinitely many solutions. So each of these matrices represents one of those situations. Let's figure out which. In the first case, the last column of the augmented matrices row echelon form or reduced row echelon form has a leading entry. Okay, so that means that this number here is a leading entry, which means that I mean diamond is not equal to zero. And that gives me also two more leading entries, one in the first row and one in the second row. In the rest of the matrix, I have some zeros and I also have some stars. Here the stars could be any real numbers. So what I notice about this matrix is that the last row is a bit funny because if you look at the left-hand side of the last row, I have 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 plus 0x4 is equal to not 0. So in particular, I'd have 0 equal to not 0. That is impossible. This means that the linear system has no solutions. In case you're a bit confused by the diamonds and stars, let's write down an actual matrix with actual numbers that fits this pattern. So I need some leading entries. So minus one is a leading entry, two is a leading entry, and let's say five is the last leading entry. So below the leading entries, I need to put zeros, and before the leading entries, I need to put zeros. And now I have the stars, which could be anything else. So let's just say three, two, one, zero, minus four, six, and three. I just randomly pick some numbers. But now notice what happens is, here's the three leading entries, just like we have in the symbolic matrix on the left-hand side. And this time, what's important is that the last row of the matrix says zero is equal to five, which of course is impossible, no solutions. This is what you wanna look for to tell that a matrix is not consistent. Okay, so notice that a linear system has no solutions if and only if the reduced augmented matrix has more leading entries than the reduced coefficient matrix. So in particular, if I wanna write down the rank of the coefficient matrix, I just have to look at this portion here of the augmented matrix. I can see that there's two leading entries in that portion. So the rank of the coefficient matrix is equal to two, and that's strictly less than three, which is the rank of the augmented matrix. Let's look at the second case. Every column of the matrix contains a leading entry except the last column. So here, the leading entries are the diamond, the diamond, and the diamond. Again, I'm going to say that diamond is any real number except zero, and the stars could be any real number. Here, notice that the system is definitely consistent. Because I don't have a leading entry in the last column. And the number of leading entries is equal to the number of variables. This means that the linear system has a unique solution. Let's again write down a matrix with actual numbers to see what we're looking for with actual numbers. Here, we need leading entries along that diagonal, so maybe one, two, minus four. I need zeros below the leading entries and in front of the leading entries. And everywhere else, I could have any numbers I want. Three, 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 and three. 
there's a good matrix that matches this pattern. And any linear system associated to this augmented matrix must have a unique solution. Notice that a linear system has a unique solution if and only if the reduced coefficient matrix has the same number of leading entries as variables. So let's look at the rank here of the coefficient matrix. The rank of the coefficient matrix in this case is equal to 3, which is exactly the same as the number of variables. There's nothing important here about the number 3. It's more that the rank of the coefficient matrix is exactly equal to the number of variables in the linear system. In the third case, at least two columns, one of which must be the last column, do not contain leading entries. OK, so let's again look at the leading entries. We'll assume that these diamonds are supposed to be leading entries, so those are numbers that are not equal to zero. The stars, again, could be any real numbers. And here, I notice that there's no leading entry in the column corresponding to the third variable, and there's no leading entry in the last column. Because there's no leading entry in the last column, I know that the system is consistent. And because there's another column without a leading entry, I know that there's a free variable. As soon as we have a system that's consistent with at least one free variable, we know that the linear system has infinitely many solutions. Again, let's quickly write down a matrix uh, that would satisfy this. So I need to make sure that I have leading entries, one, one, and whoops, say one. I need to have zeros below the leading entries and in front of the leading entries, and I can have any number anywhere else. So three minus one, two, four, seven, one, one, one. Okay, so here's a matrix that any linear system corresponding to this augmented matrix would have infinitely many solutions. In fact, we know here we would get one free variable, so we would need one parameter to describe the solution. Notice that a consistent linear system has infinitely many solutions if and only if there are free variables. So if we want to say something about the rank, this means that the rank of the coefficient matrix A must be strictly less than the number of variables.